today we will see in detail about the expectation value uh, whether it is average value or it is different from average value is an average value but there is a, a slight difference let's just take in a laboratory you are measuring the length of an object or let us say a radius of the object you are measuring 10 times so first time is you will get r1 r2 uh, second time will go on you are taking 10 readings of radius of an object and dividing by 10 that is average what will happen in quantum mechanics uh, say you have a particle here in quantum mechanics uncertainty plays a major role now you are measuring the uh, distance for measuring the distance naturally you will sign the light so when you are signing the light what will happen naturally the particle move so if you do the measurement continuously you naturally you will not get uh, same result you will get a different result so how to solve this problem uh, either you can leave the particle will become uh, equilibrium you measure the you do the next measurement after some time or you make a copy of this particle exactly uh, at the same state uh, may, maybe you take uh, 20 copies of same uh, particle uh, then uh, you measure the distance uh, sorry uh, measure the position and uh, divide by 20 then you uh, you will get some value that value is called expectation value that is the difference between the average value and the expectation value uh, let us say we have an eigenstate uh, u1 u2 u3 u4 and it goes on up to u n with the eigenvalues uh, a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 uh, then uh, you take this uh, this as an example we will find what is the expectation value now uh, you take a wave function psi and what i am going to do is i am multiplying this by one uh, that is this factor summation over n the outer product due to closer property you know very well this value is one because of the closer property uh, now, secondly, what I am going to do is uh, you take, uh, because this and this are the same, because after all I am multiplying by 1. So now, uh, what is this? This is the inner product of un with psi, which is a number. So I can bring this. If it is operator, I cannot bring uh, back and forth. Since it's a uh, number, I can bring back and forth. Uh, so now, uh, now you have u n uh, psi n. I brought uh, un uh, inner product of u n with psi. I brought front of in front of the uh, wave vector u n. So uh, what is this? Uh, this is basically how much projection uh, u n has over psi. So uh, that projection value is it's equal to a n. So this will become uh, uh, the summation over n a n u n because this inner product is a, a n a probability amplitude. So uh, psi can be written as a one u one plus a two u two plus a three u three and so on. It will go like this. Uh, now. This expansion coefficient or probability amplitude. If you square this, if you take modulus square, because you know uh, the expansion coefficient is uh, maybe the uh, complex number or a real number. So uh, we are taking the uh, modulus n square, modulus of this n square, which is equal to T n. Uh, so now the expectation value of a n is equal to the probability multiplied by this corresponding eigen value probability multiplied by the corresponding uh, eigen value uh, of course you have summed up all n so like your, your regular experiment 
you are uh, taking summation over at the product of uh, probability uh, with uh, this uh, eigenvalue lambda n, pn lambda n. Uh, so uh, that is here we know that when operator A act on the wave vector psi n, you will get the wave function lambda n psi n that you have to keep in your mind. Uh, what is pn here? pn is modulus a n squared. So this lambda n I am keeping as it is. Uh, this is the expectation value is equal to summation over n, uh, a n uh, modulus a n squared lambda n. Uh, this is after all the weighted average, you know the meaning of weighted average. So uh, what is the probability of having a particular eigenvalue uh, and multiply both you will get a weighted average. Uh, so uh, now we will move on next. Uh, now we got the expression uh, the expectation value of a is equal to summation over n uh, modulus a n squared lambda n where a n is equal to the inner product of u n uh, with this psi. So now uh, what is a n uh, modulus square that is uh, a star a so a star a. So this is a as per definition this is u inner product of u n with the psi is uh, a naturally inner product of psi with the u n is a star. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, lambda n is a, a number. Now what I am going to do is I am going to do small mathematical tricks. You take uh, psi outside both uh, pra psi and get psi. This is pra psi and get psi. I am taking pra psi and uh, uh, get psi outside. And uh, the uh, uh, running index u n, we, uh, we have running index value that is lambda n uh, pra u n. So lambda n, uh, sorry, get to u n. This is first one is get to u n. First one is get to u n. And uh, next one is uh, bra u n. This is uh, bra. So this one I am taking second. This is first. Uh, and lambda also having n. Lambda is number. Don't worry. You can bring back and forth. So uh, I am bringing uh, this with the summation. Uh, sorry, I forgot to uh, include n. This is summation over n. Remember that summation over n. Uh, here I am going to do uh, one more mathematical tricks. Uh, you cannot take lambda n outside uh, because n is a running index. So however uh, you, uh, you will get to we have defined lambda n is equal to uh, a psi uh, when a act on psi uh, psi you will get uh, lambda n uh, so naturally i am taking this operator outside i am replacing lambda n simply i can say i am replacing lambda n by its operator a now a there is no running index so i can uh, uh, coolly take it outside this uh, summation so summation is over n uh, then what is this summation outer product? Summation of this outer product due to closer property, it is equal to one. Then uh, this can be rewritten as psi, that is pra psi, uh, a, and get psi. So this is a basic definition of uh, the expectation value. This is the definition for expectation value. So the expectation value is nothing but the inner product taken with the operator A. Uh, here we have assumed uh, psi is normalized. If it is not normalized, uh, then uh, no problem. You divide it by uh, psi, star, uh, psi uh, with the psi, pra psi with the uh, get psi. So that is psi star psi. Uh, so this is the definition for expectation value. 
thank you very much for watching my video continuously and uh, supporting me thank you very much